Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about adaptive cards. Adaptive cards are platform agnostic UI snippets defined in JSON format. You can embed them into Copilot Studio agents to create structured and visually rich interaction. Before we dive deeper into adaptive cards, let's talk about our use case. So I have built an agent and embedded in SharePoint. Um, site recently the use case where users need to interact with the agent uh, in sharepoint site so when the user submits an adaptive card form that would trigger power platform that would trigger power automate flow so that uh, we can store the user inputs in sharepoint list and then trigger an email to operations team about the new use case so if we come to our sharepoint site you can see this is very simple site sharepoint site when you open the site the agent will welcome you and when you say i want to submit a use case this will uh, trigger the topic which is adaptive card and then user would go ahead and fill out the form so in this case uh, i'm gonna say for example customer name department will be hr use case title can be copilot agent for description i will say test urgency i will select medium if you look at the urgency this is actually a drop down list and reference link you can embed any link i've copied the microsoft uh, web site and click submit when you submit this would summarize your inputs send an email to operations team as well as create an item in sharepoint list so this is our list let me refresh real quick so as soon as I submitted, this saved our responses, uh, the user responses in the SharePoint list and also triggered an email to the operations team with their details. This is a very simple flow and you can actually uh, basically uh, customize this, make it better. What I really like, the also reference link, it's in the uh, link format. All this code I use ChatGP to generate and I will show it to you. Now let's go ahead and review the backend. The backend, the trigger is actually, since I'm using Generative Orchestrator, uh, the topic will be triggered by Generative Orchestrator. If you don't want that, you can turn this off. And then for your topic, uh, you will need to define uh, trigger phrases, which I prefer using Generative Orchestrator. That's why I'm going to keep this as is. And adaptive card here, I just added a node and used the adaptive card. And the code here, this is the JSON format. You can see it here. We will do it together. And after that, this is the outputs. So in Copilot Studio, we use generally adaptive cards primarily to collect input. When a user interacts with a card their responses are stored in a variables that we can use later in the conversation that's what we are using now so if you look at the message node here is the summary of the user inputs and those variables later we use for our power automate uh, flow and i just added the action node and then created a simple power automate flow that uses uh, those variables to save that in the responses in SharePoint list and send an email. And at the end, I have simple note here, the question, this is asking, do you want to submit another use case request? If yes, this will um, redirect uh, the user to adopt the card. If not, then it will redirect user to end of conversation. So we will build this together. I'm gonna come back to topics. Let me disable this topic so that we can create a new one. So I will add a topic.
here I will just, as I explained, since I'm using Generative Orchestrator, I just need to define the topic's purpose and the Generative Orchestrator will uh, trigger these topic based on the user inputs. So the purpose of this topic is helping users to submit their use cases. Perfect. And then here I will click add a node and I will select ask with adaptive card. Perfect. Now, how we can make this adaptive card? So we can design our cards either using adaptive card designer. We will see in the properties adaptive card designer, which is visual tool or by writing JSON code directly. So let's open this up. This will take us to adaptive cards uh, website. We have two options here. We can either create a new card or look at the templates here and then customize the templates. So if you want, you can do that, but I found easier way uh, to get that JSON code. So I simply ask in ChatGPT to create a JSON code for Adaptive Card in Copilot Studio. This Adaptive Card will help users submit their IT use cases. And here are the uh, basically JSON. And I will just copy this. And you can see all the details here. I will come back here, select this code. I will remove it and paste that code here. And as you can see, immediately we can see our adaptive card here. And if you scroll down, now you see these uh, variables that automatically created by Copilot Studio. It saves really, really uh, great time. And if you are using PowerFX formulas, you can also change this formula and make it dynamic. I will not do this uh, during this demo. Then I will save this and the topic will be, again, you should rename your topics in more meaningful way, but this is just part of demo. I will say adaptive card, save. Now let, let's test this out. I will say I have a use case. Perfect. Uh, now agent triggered the right topic and we need to go ahead and fill this out and click submit. But we need further actions like where are we gonna use those uh, variables? To do that, I will come back to topics again, open our new topic. So it's always a best practice providing users with, the, with their own inputs, like summarizing them so that user can uh, see those details before submitting. So I will open Copilot here, click Copilot icon, and I will say, add the message note to summarize the adaptive card user responses. Click update. Now, if you scroll down, you will see this is a message note and here it captures all the details. This is really great way of saving time. So what I will do, I will just highlight these labels and make them bold so that we can get visually more um, clear messages. Perfect. Close this, save. I will refresh this. 
now I will ask again I want to submit a new use case perfect this triggers the topic that we are looking for and our adaptive card is within uh, the specific topic called new AC which is adaptive card topic and I will say name will be uh, Hugo and Zuko department will be sales use case title will be maybe just say pro data project description we need a new data pipelines urgency medium and reference link i will copy and paste the microsoft website again click submit and here we go we got the response back here so what else do we need now we got this answer what depends on your use case right so i'm gonna go ahead and open the topic again this time click plus and add an action i already have a flow which i will walk through uh, the details but i will select this one and let me show you the flow first so here is my flow the triggered by the agent input coming from agent and here i have a uh, parameters like customer name, department, title, urgency, reference link, description. Then I'm using action create an item. And this is my list. This is uh, where I'm saving the responses. Title will use this input, customer name will use this variable, etc. And I'm also composing these responses to generate the table inside my Outlook uh, email body and then sending an email anytime user submits a use case and then also responds back to the user in Copilot saying, thank you, we have received your use case. We will get back to you on the next steps. Perfect. Now what I need in the topic level, I need to uh, connect those uh, variables like customer name here will be uh, username. The department will be department title will be use case title urgency will be urgency reference link uh, will be reference link and description will be description perfect now save and now once we repeat this process this should send an email and save the responses in SharePoint. So for example, I can come here. I want to submit a new use case. Name, Rafsan, department, sales, use case title. Uh, let's call this new Power Apps Canvas app. Detailed description. I will say test. Urgency will be medium and reference link again. I'm gonna post. I uh, put the Microsoft link and click submit. We got the responses here. Now let's go to our SharePoint. List. Refresh. Perfect. We got the answer here and the operation team also receives the email about this so as a best practice we should also add another node asking user whether they want to submit another uh, use case click plus button and i will uh, ask a question do you want to submit a new news case request and here i am using multiple choice options 
new options. I will say yes. And another one will be no. And as a best practice, I will also rename my variable. Our user option, perfect. I will save. And then after this, I will add a condition. I'm simply selecting, select a variable here. I will say var user, user option equals yes. Then I will click plus and topic management. There is go to step here. I will click this and then scroll up, select adaptive card. So I'm basically here using this um, step. Anytime user says, yes, I want to submit another request, instead of triggering the main agent orchestration, this will basically take the user back to adaptive card, uh, saving time. And the other one is will be like all other conditions. Then I'm saying, uh, take the user uh, and current topic. So I will save. Let's test this out one more time. I have a use case. Perfect. And same thing, submit. Perfect. Now, as you can see, it summarizes the user inputs and then asks the question, do you want to submit a new use case request? If I say yes, that will uh, trigger adaptive card again. So perfect. Now what we need to do, I'm going to publish this because we want to embed this in our uh, SharePoint site. While this is running, I'm going to show you the settings here, what I'm doing. In the settings, generative AI, make sure this is always generative. And the security, authentication, for SharePoint sites, if it is like organizational level, I typically choose no authentication. Otherwise, people, uh, they don't like it because they prefer having single sign-on. So this is the uh, agent security level. And I go back to our uh, channels now. Since I published, I will choose custom website. And this is the iframe code. I will copy this. So I want to make once and clear in order to embed SharePoint uh, Copilot agent in your SharePoint site, you will need to have access to this specific uh, feature HTML field security. So you can find this within SharePoint site settings. If you are admin, you will probably have access. If you don't have uh, access to this, then work with your admin. They will need to select this option, allow contributors to insert iframes from any domain. And then, okay, once that is done, come back here, click edit. I will sh add another agent so that you can see column and here there is option called embed add embed and then i will paste that iframe code i will remove uh, the, the first part then last part and i will make the height 80 percent Perfect. And this is how you can embed your agent in SharePoint site as well. So this is very simple use case, uh, but I would say it's very helpful to users uh, to have one form inside the agent to uh, provide their use cases or any other inputs. Hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have further use case requests, please put that in the comments and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.